Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a sea slash ocean themed snail mail and I'm actually doing a collaboration today with underscore paper haven. I'll have her Instagram link in the description box below if you want to go check it out. Um, but basically we just decided on a theme together. She created her video on Instagram so you can see here now and I would highly recommend you go follow her account if you want to see lots of snail mail inspiration and she's also got a few posts relating to our collaboration as well if you want to go check that out um, so yeah I was really excited this isn't actually a theme that I would choose myself so it's something a little bit different and I actually went to the shops to go find some ocean themed stationery because I don't really have any I was going through my stationery collection I honestly don't have a lot of ocean themed so this is a really beautiful theme like I love these colors they're nice and pastel they're nice blue blues um and I love working with blues I don't have a lot of different shades of like blue like scrap kind of paper but um that's why I got these die cuts and sticker books so the first thing I wanted to do was start to create the it's sort of like a snail mail pocket so it's I'm using lots of different size papers it's sort of similar to my video where I did a space themed and basically you get different heights of paper you layer it up and then you only glue down the edges to make your pocket. So in this one, I'm using this um, this paper. It's sort of it kind of feels like a handmade paper, the bl the dark blue one. Um, I actually got it from a store here in Sydney, and then I'm layering it up with two other um, papers as well. So one's like a vintage paper ripped out of a book, and the other one's a block color. So this is me just creating the um, all the different pockets and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start figuring out what I want to put in each of the pockets and then I'm going to um, start designing the, the pockets as well. So putting some of these stickers and the die cuts all around it. Um, I've never actually worked with a sticker set as well as a die cut set that actually has the same theme. So it was really interesting using this. I felt like it was a little bit easier to use a set. Um, because I usually go through like my whole stationery collection and then I kind of chuck everything together and then once I've got piles of similar patterns or colors or stickers that I think would look nice together then that's when I have to, to try to figure out the design and how I'm going to layer it out but for this because this set was already put together for me um, I it was just basically just layering it and seeing where I want to place it so I felt like it's a lot easier when you've actually got a set that's sort of made up and all works together and then you've just got to figure out how you want to basically put it all together in the pen pal package also this glue stick is making a ridiculous shadow on my video I didn't realize how dark the video was until I saw this shadow it's actually getting really really cold here in Australia we're coming to the end of autumn now and the streets around me just have the most beautiful trees and they're all turning orange I, I've never really lived in a place where all the trees have turned orange before like um, most of the places I've lived are coastal so we don't really get to f that kind of autumny feeling but here in um, the North Shore of Sydney they, all the trees are just dropping these beautiful autumn leaves and it's really really nice um, but yeah we've just had the cold front come through and over the last two weeks it's just got really cold so it's double dooners bed socks every night just cozying up if I had a heater I'd have it on anyone from an actually a cold who lives in a cold place would think we're ridiculous <laughs> because our cold is nowhere near as cold as other people um in the world and yeah I'm like I'm so rocked up <laughs> um also what you can see I'm doing now is I've actually got um it kind of looks like this little Polaroid border and I've just cut out this stamp that was on an envelope and this envelope I'm pretty sure I got from the op shop and it has lots of different ships and um, nautical themed um, like stamps and things so I have put that behind there and then I'm just going through the die cuts and stickers and starting to put them on the letter as well so um, yeah it's starting to look 
a very ocean sea themed and I can't wait um, to start going swimming in the ocean again in summer and I'll be up in Brisbane by then so in my previous video if you've been following my channel for a little while I said that I was moving up to Brisbane um, well I'm going to actually be moving because Dan my partner here is finishing work um end of june so then he'll have a month off just to so we can pack the house up and get ready to move up and start going up there looking at apartments and things like that so we will have all of july off to do that and i need to find a job up there which i haven't and it, it is the worst time possible for me to be looking for a job so fingers crossed i'll get a transfer with my current company hayes but um, yeah, I'm just applying like crazy. But I'll give you guys updates if you want them. Um, and I'll probably tell you about the move. And the first thing I'm probably going to be showing you guys when I move up there is my new craft room. So on screen, as you can see again, um, this is the final design. And these are all the goodies that I've got inside. So I've put a lot of those die cuts in there. I've also got this little cute card that's like a an ocean theme. I've also got lots of stickers and this little baggie. And then I've also got posters cards and this um these ducks as well that I thought were really cute so that is the front of my snail mail I like how it turned out um not my usual style but I still like the um the layout and and putting everything down and creating it so next I'm going to be putting the letter on the back and just creating a simple pocket for the back um and then I'll just be designing that one and, and making it all pretty as well and then I'll show you something that I bought that I'm really, really excited to show you guys. And this is going to be the first time I'm showing you on this channel. Um, but yeah, what was I saying a second ago? Yes, Brisbane. So I'll be moving up there and I'll get up there in August, I think is going to be probably the first time that I'll show you guys my new place on camera will be right in the city will be a two bedroom apartment it's what we're looking for um and yeah i'll be doing a craft room tour if there's anything else you want me to do um like if any other video ideas you want me to do while i'm up there um i could do a stationary shopping in brisbane oh that's a good one because i've done those in sydney before but i don't even know what's going to be up there and as i said kaiser craft is something that i've never even known but they're up there um and i'm sure there's going to be lots of stationary shops that i can go explore and um bring you around and do a little tour up there as well so, as I said, um, on the back of this snail mail, I've got this letter and wait for it. I'm going to be using my new, oh, I'm still, I'm still designing. Wait, you'll see, you'll see. It's very exciting. I'm trying to match my voiceover up with the surprise thing that I want to show you guys but it's taking a lot longer for m with my editing skills for me to show you but I'm just making sure that snail mail fits inside the envelope now <laughs> um oh yeah I forgot about this one my friend actually gave me this for Christmas oh actually no my birthday it's a it's I think it's called the ultimate wrapping paper book and it's got really cool um, designs throughout it. I absolutely love using it. And I'm just ripping out papers now and creating the front of the envelope. So what I wanted to do was just create like a little collage design on the front. And um, I went through my stationery and I found these beautiful red um, stickers as well, like borders for where you can write the two and then the address. Um, and I really want to start using them more. I thought that blue and red really worked together for like a nautical themed um, snail mail today. And um, then I'm just going to be designing the back a little bit later. But here is the design of the completed snail mail. And then here is the front of the envelope completed as well. I'm really liking the design, as I said. It's something I've never really done before. But then this is the big moment. Ta da! Oh my god, I was so excited to get this typewriter. I've been wanting one for so long. I've honestly been saying that I've been wanting a typewriter for years now. I've been trying to find one really cheap at the op shops. And um, 
I don't know, it's just I've never found, I don't know if I've never found one that's been cheap enough or if at the time I just didn't have enough money or what the reason was. But then when I went back home, I was telling my sister that I really wanted to go op shopping and all the op shops were shut because of COVID. And then she's like, why don't you try on Marketplace? Because I've tried on Gumtree before and they were too expensive. And then when I went on the Facebook Marketplace, I found this typewriter for $50 with a second, um, what's it called? The ribbon. <laughs> I went completely my make then. The ribbon. And in the little typed message I wrote, I said, P.S. This is the first time I'm ever using this typewriter for a pen pal letter. So I hope the person who is receiving this will be very excited <laughs> that they got a typed letter because I was really excited typing it. Um, so yeah, I'm just designing the back of the envelope now and... I'm just making a blue um, wax stamp and I'm going to put some string around it. I don't usually put string around my final um, design just because sometimes some post offices don't like the string on the outside because you usually have to write a little form to say what's inside if it's not just documents or paper. So I usually leave a string out of a lot of my pen pal packages unless they're going to Australia. But this one I thought this string really matched this design. So I'm going to tie the string around in a second then put the little um, wax seal. And then this is the final design. I hope you guys got some inspiration. Tag me on Instagram if you're going to be creating or using this as inspiration for a snail mail, ocean themed mail for yourself or for a pen pal that you're sending it to. I always love seeing any tagged videos and I usually share them as well. And as I said, any other snail mail themes that you want me to do, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I had a lot of fun and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh my goodness, I've only just realized on the front of the envelope in big letters, it just, it just says DeSova. And I was thinking, what? I didn't even realize when I was sticking it down, it was supposed to say discover and that's the way it actually came in the die, in the die cut pack. So either I have no idea what a disover is, but <laughs> it's supposed to say discover and they've really screwed this up. So I put it in big letters right at the front. So I won't say who's receiving this, but you've now got a beautiful disover envelope. <laughs>